Hey folks, welcome to the first in a series of short 60 second videos. We kick off with how to take coils. There's loads of ways, this is my way. Tied in as normal, I'm flicking it over my head. I'm using my left hand as a guide to make the coils about the same distance as to the waist belt on my harness. Too long, they'll fall off your shoulders. Too short, you'll be hunched over all day. The amount of coils depends upon how long your rope is and what routes you are on. Once you've got them, rope goes over my left shoulder first, so I'm going to put my left arm through, and I'm going to spin all these coils to make sure they're all nice and neat, that rope's going straight up. Spare end is going to go over the top of everything, and I'm going to reach through and bring it underneath all the other coils and measure it down to my pocket. I'm then going to bring it under everything, I'm going to put a twist in that bit of rope there and poke the end through. That gives me a nice solid knot. I'm going to snug it up loads as well. I'm going to pull on that to check it all locks up. It does. Happy days. Next up, I'm going to put a carabiner into my rope loop and clip that end in there. Now I could do that up and leave it at that. If I fall off, the rope pulls onto the coils. That could be good for glacial stuff. If you're pitching, climbing type stuff, uh, then I personally go for a clovich into there into the carabiner, do it up. I want it to be sort of pointing outwards. This time, if I fall off now, it pulls onto my harness more directly. I prefer that for climbing type stuff. Perhaps that was 60 seconds, but there you go. Taking coils, done. <laughs> 